Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. When Sylvanas shattered the Helm of Domination, she was touched by the power it released. I can sense the echoes of that power and I know where she has gone. If you wish to rescue your leaders, the shattered Helm can open a path. It cannot bring you back, however. That you must do on your own. The risk is great, Grundorn. But there is no other way. We will begin the ritual at once. When the Banshee shattered the helm, it tore a gaping wound through the veil between our world and the Shadowlands. During my vigil upon the Frozen Throne, I caught fleeting glimpses into the realms of death. Among them, I saw a place of inescapable darkness. That is where you must go, if you are to save those Sylvanas has taken. Together, we can open the way. Place the Shards of Domination around the Circle of Runes. Then the ritual can begin. I love his voice. So powerful. When the helm rested upon my head, it took all my will to keep its insidious power in check. Many times, I nearly faltered. I could sense a dark presence at the edge of my consciousness. Not Arthas, not Nezul. Something else. It is that very presence I sense lurking beyond the shattered sky above. I dare not travel with you. Even free of the helm, I fear I would become bound to the will of its true master. But this threat cannot be left unchecked. Therefore you must venture. Where I cannot. The dangers you face will be considerable. Alone, you may well be outmatched. To aid in this task, the Knights of the Ebon Blade shall lend you their strength. Darien Mograin has volunteered to fight at your side. Living mortals were never intended to cross beyond the Veil. Where you are going, you may be unable to return. But there is no other course. Death comes to claim Azeroth. It falls to you to defend her. The time has come. Take up the Shattered Helm, and we will open the Rift. Right, no pressure then. Just, you know, the fate of the entire world once again falls upon our shoulders. Let us do this thing. The path opens. Your courage will be remembered, champion. Aldiel Shalar. Find those who were taken and bring them home. Rescue the others. The Banshee is mine to kill. Tyrande, don't do this. For Ilisar Theranol. Uh, okay. We Not twist. cannot lose you to the darkness. You made it through the rift. Good. I got this mission to see the No sign of the High Priestess. Perhaps she charged ahead into the chaos. I'll be honest with you, that whole outfit there where I came and slammed into the ground on that kind of looked like Iron Man, that Iron Man type approach. That was 
epic. Like, with the outfit, that was an epic entrance. Seriously cool. That was very seriously cool. Kinda. Hello. Uh, hello and good afternoon. You're now immortalized on film. Right. Um, no, actually, there was another thing I was going to do, but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't work here anyway. Um, you can't use mounts in here. You look. Um, Let's bring Frost Saber. Your mount ignores your call within the moor. You cannot mount up on anything in the moor. You have to do it all on foot. So let's... Right. There's two different ways that you can do it. Like, you, you go through this bit, and then you end up sort of going into... Um, these different zones and there's two different things you've got this campaign which is this shape quest and then you've got the regular quest markers and stuff you can do both of it together it doesn't really matter on your first playthrough and then later on you can um, choose for alts if you want to do just the campaign or if you want to do world quests and other quests and so on and not do the campaign you like you got a bit of choice what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore all other quests and I'm only going to do the main storyline going through. So we'll have one storyline that we follow and all the little side storylines, we will not be doing any of those on this character. We will do them another time with another character. And I think that is going to be Muffin Top's Safety Not Guaranteed. Okay, that's a different approach to life. Um... Yeah, so um, we'll just be doing the campaign. So if I do, I don't think there's any quests that I see. I just thought I'd better tell you now. Um, like I'm going to be ignoring completely any other quests. We're only doing these campaign quests. No others are going to be taken. So, High Lord Jaren Mograin. We know much about sacrifice. Not the most ideal of arrivals, but at least we are still in one piece. I have not seen any sign of Taronda. Either she landed elsewhere, or continued on without us. We should keep an eye out. The chaotic energies of this place have scattered the Ebon Blade. I don't think Azeroth's blessings will reach you here, Paladin. We will need allies if we are to survive this place. We should find them quickly, before they are overcome. Need to rally ten knights. To the bitter end. All is not lost. Not yet. Our knights are strong, but they don't stand much chance scattered against such an opponent. We need to thin the ranks of our foe. The Ebon Blade won't do us any good if they are cut down. We must forge our own destiny. Right then, I've got an order of embers thing. Let me just sort out some stuff a second. Torvo has just come online as well. Good afternoon, Mr. Torvo. So yeah, the new gear, it does look very, very cool. I'm just not sure about the whole head being covered up. I mean, maybe that's something that we will do in this series. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So we'll wait and see on that one. I need to rally you. Fight your way out of here. We will meet you ahead. And then I've also got to defeat some forces. So I've got a more sworn guard over there. If I can just hit him once, that's what I actually need to do. I don't need to do anything else. There's lots of other people around at the moment. So we, we can kind of like um, out of range. help them do the whole killing thing like this. There. Right, let's, let's drag you in. And they're down, just like that. That's the thing with... This opening sequence I noticed previously was just how ridiculously fast you can take everybody down. Um, can I? Yeah, Regroup I can rescue him. Knights. We will not be far behind. And right, see now I've just got like it's just just me and High Lord Darian Mograine, but he does most of the damage. So just while you're doing this bit here, you don't actually have all that much that you've got to do. I've got another quest over here that I want to pick up. And because I've got mining, there are one there is one denizen of the moor that we can actually mine. Which is awesome. Will a uh, Willona Thorn. Make it quick. One of the larger fiends has several of our knights engaged. Hurry to their aid, lest we lose more of our dwindling forces. 
Go. It is too late for me. Ashes to ashes. That's the end of her. We will avenge her, though. We will avenge the fallen. We will not let this one just... We, we will not let it just stand like that. So, more sworn ruiner. There's another more sworn over there. Oops. I need to get closer. Uh, that's the one that I want, like that. He was holding two Knights of Ebon Blade. I could have used those. I could have done with them to help me. I also want to change around my abilities a little bit. So I've got that finishing move on... Because uh, I've actually, like, put some of these on hotkeys. Just change these a second. So I want to swap that one around there like that. And then this one here also. That's my healing power. Word of glory. So swap that one over and I drop that one on there. But I'm going to want those later. I'm going to need to move these. But we'll get to that. We won't need to worry about it just for a minute. Let's go and take out that more swan guard over that side. With a zap like that. There we go. Right, I'll get you. And now I've got several Knights of the Ebon Blade here that I can call to my rescue. Call to my rescue that I... Get on with it. Wait. I thought I was able to rescue you. They didn't count, did they? We are establishing rally him. a forward position. Go. Make sure we hold it. Yes, I got him. Before he was able to rip their souls out, I got him. That's a good thing. Let, let me rally. Darren, you take those. Oh, they're, they're both auto-rallied anyway, because I went and, like, rescued them. So th those we don't need to worry about. And then I've just got, like, if, if I go and take him out... They'll auto rally these dudes as well, and then that, and then that's done. We're, we're ideal, yeah. That's, that's that's fantastic. There, auto rallied. See, just like that. Right, more swan force. I need another more swan force, and then we've got this ruiner that we need to take care of. And he, well, there's a guard, but the ruiner is over there. Ruiner Maroff. We need to deal with him. And then what's this down here? Oh, that's just another saying where there's another. Um, person thingy that we can take care of and, and I'm going to do that and I'm also going to put a shield onto them both like this take down that more sworn guard right there ever burning mange we got more we can, we're getting more grey drops we're always going to be one oh there's another one there let me get that one grey drops we want the grey drops we need the grey and the white drops. We need all of them. And there's the Ruin of Maroth. I, I, I kind of need to take you down quick. Oops. It's too far away. I can't throw a hammer at you like that. I've got to do it like this. There. There we go. Right. That's better. I'm going to do that one and do this. And then, like, get everything going. And I need to keep that down on the ground as well. Boom. Is no we rally up ahead. Escape. We have done all we can here. Let's get moving before reinforcements arrive. Right, we have to automatically regroup. So we'll turn in these quests once we've done the regrouping bit. I will take on him just because I can. Are you going to help me, Mograin? He's run off now. But he's, he's too good to go and help me now. Like, he's, he's done his bits. He's just going to give up and use my finishing move and finish him off like that. Fantastic. And it's down here. This, this is where we need to be turning everything in. So we've got a quartermaster down here for general goods and repairs. And, well, I don't actually need to get anything, get rid of anything for you. So I need to turn in this request to him. Harness your hate. Make it useful. Harness your hate. We've been in this place mere moments, and already our forces are depleted. It will have to do. Take this horn. It can be used to call upon the remaining Ebon forces, Ebon Blade forces, to rally against your foes. This Clarion will signal the Ebon Blade to converge on your foe. Use it wisely. Three minute cooldown on that one. Our enemy is relentless, but we will continue to drive them back. Stand vigilant, Paladin. I am loath to leave some of our knights behind, but it is obvious we cannot stand against such foes. We must make sure their sacrifices are not in vain. 
It appears we've escaped our enemy's notice for the moment. We should take the opportunity to scout the nearby area for signs of our allies. We will draw less attention alone. The Ebon Blade will hold back, awaiting my signal. Come, let us see what awaits in this hellscape. We are eternal. We are vastly outnumbered. Let's try not to draw unwanted attention. Keep an eye out for clues that point to the whereabouts of our allies. Uh, right, clues. First clue found. Frost magic. Looks like the work of our friend, the Lord Admiral. That the conflict be... seems to move in this direction. We should follow the trail before it grows cold. <laughs> I see what you did there. The work of Jaina. Trail growing cold. I see what you did there. Let's take down his hungering gear for a minute. There's a lot of souls running around that seem fairly unhappy with their lot. It kind of makes, you know, it, it, it does make a lot of sense that they would be. It's not a pleasant place here. More of Lady Proudmoore's handiwork. It would be unwise to break the enchantment. Let's move along. That thing over there... A Stygian giant. That is quite the beast. The Lord Admiral is truly formidable. To have bested one of these monstrosities. Hold! What's that up ahead? Uh, that would be Jaina. Fighting, but up currently ahead. in trouble. It's Lady Proudmore. Uh... Okay, I'll be honest with you, she doesn't really look like she's struggling. Looks like we've secured the Lord Admiral. I'll signal the Ebon Blade to advance. Thank the light you found us. What would you ask the Daughter of the Sea? Praise the light. I... I'd almost given up hope. Jane looks upon the Ebon Blade Knights. Is this all that remains of your forces? Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's a relief to see friendly faces again, but we have little time for pleasantries. Thrall is wounded, and we are being hunted by the denizens of this realm. We must seek shelter at once. Come, I believe I know of a place. We all have our ghosts. We can't stay here. Can you walk, Thrall? I will manage. Thank you for coming to my aid, Jaina. Something's flying at us from above! They found us. Be ready. Uh. Struggle all you like, mortals. You cannot escape your fate. Uh, more sworn harbingers. These things don't. Oh, I got. I've got to actually kill them. So let's, let's do some work. Let's get some knife work. Actually, it's not knife work at all, is it? It's mace work. Let's do some mace work. There, like that. Let's, uh, let's, let's chop down a few of these. There's another one down. And i got a third Your one down over there. Will be I didn't mean to press the button on that. I want that voiceover back. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll never be able to get that back now. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. It's it's not like a it is a bit of the story. It's like a little bit of the story. So like it, it's really frustrating that I've gone and lost. We're that. overrun. I'm getting us out of here. Left some mere images behind to keep them distracted. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry! We cannot let the world fall to darkness. Those images will keep our foes distracted for time, but they will not give up their pursuit so easily. We must make haste. Be careful who you trust. 
There's a cave not far from here. If we hurry, we can seek refuge. Those fiends will give chase if they spot us. Be prepared for a fight. The Alliance will endure. I will never forget. There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can reach it before they notice. Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. Well, there goes our luck. Knights, secure the cave! We'll hold off these speeds! Uh, Alright, let's take down some of these. That was easy. So much for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. What did Thrall mean by slip past them again? I've escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times, only to end up back in a cage. I've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long, but it should buy us a little time. Another ambush! Bring them down! I can do this. This, this is the bit I'm good at. The whole mace work right here. Though, we don't need to worry too much about this. Because, uh, like, uh, we've got all of these dudes with us, and, and they're pretty powerful. Lord Admiral, before we found you, did you see any sign of the Night Warrior? Taronda, here. No, I have not. She leapt into the rift just ahead of us. She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner at any cost. That is troubling. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. I fear it may be growing beyond her ability to contain it. Your cell awaits, mage. The Jailer has plans for you! I've had enough of your cages, fiend! There is nowhere to run! Nothing escapes the maw! We'll see. Right, Tariesh, you seem like a most unpleasant sort of character, so we're going to deal with you now. Yes, I know that we've got Azeroth's most powerful heroes who've been up against you many times These and... These allies of yours are insignificant. You will all end up in chains. Uh, Not yeah, but... The engine burst. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can help. It is useless to resist. In here. I'm pretty sure that I can help, you know, with with the, with, with well, with with all of it, you know, defeating you be these safe big nasties. Here for the moment. When you first arrived, I wasn't sure if you were even real, or if you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning to lose hope that I'd see anyone from our world again. I have a question. Where did we get the timber from? Because I don't remember anyone carrying a sack of logs, and this place doesn't look like it's got a lot of timber. Or are we just burning old bones? I think maybe we best not ask too many questions about the source of that fire. I will do what I can. Rest here while you can, Grondorn. I will tell you what I know. Control your power, or it will control you. Anduin insisted that our allies would come for us. I confess I had begun to doubt him. I'm sure you have many questions. I'll do what I can to provide answers. But I'm afraid, even after... What has it been? Weeks? Longer? Time loses all meaning in a place of such darkness. Forgive me. Let me tell you what little I can. I know what must be done. A single spark can set the world aflame. Very well. Where to begin? Denizens call this realm the Maw. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Something has changed. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors, and ours, is Sylvanas Windrunner. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The Shades whisper of someone called... The Jailer. Yeah. I have.
had a theory that maybe she was doing all this to try and save Azeroth, but I'm starting to think maybe not. Maybe she just is that dark and twisted. We all have our ghosts. The Jailer rules this realm. We know little about him, but it's clear he has taken a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our treatment here. We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being tested. Though for what purpose, I cannot say. Whatever this Jailer and the Banshee are planning, it won't end well for any of us. That looks pretty horrifying. I will be honest with you. That looks genuinely horrifying. What about the others? Be careful who you trust. I caught glimpses of Bane and Anduin during my attempts to break free. They live. That's all I know for certain. But I have found no means of leaving them all. I can only manage to teleport short distances. This nightmare feels... inescapable. Countless souls are now pouring into this realm. Some have been here for untold ages. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horror such spirits have endured. I fear there's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. If we seize one of them, we can extract its secrets. Well, he's certainly handy to have around, even if uh, his methods may be. Speak your piece. Interesting. Freeze dried salted meat and slushy water. Kind of want to get a stack of each of those just to send off to our. Alts. One, two, three, four. There, right. Stack of each of them. We will have our revenge! Okay, easy. The way forward will not be easy. I need time to recover after that battle. Thrall could use rest too. While we rest, perhaps you and Mograine can seek answers. Control your power, or it will control you. We are driven by a single purpose. Retribution. If these souls have information we need, we will take it from them. Even after being shattered by the Banshee, the helm fragment given to you by Bolvar holds the power of domination. With it, we should be able to take control of the spirits long enough to find out what they know. They will need to be sufficiently weakened before we can break them. I'm confident you're more than capable of that task. The Knights of the Ellen Blade will not falter. Okay, let's go. And have a little chat with some of the older inhabitants of this realm. And see what we can find. Something very bad is going on around here. There should not be good, pure, noble souls going into a terrible place like this. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And you can tell by the rather haunted expression on my face that delving into the world of the undead takes its toll on a man. So I'm going to rest up here in Stormwind for a bit. A uh, quick plug, if you check out the description, you'll find a link to Fanatical down there where you can buy all kinds of games. I use them myself. And if you use them via my link in the description, you will earn me a very small commission. That does not affect the price that you pay. Thank you very much. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.